today you will learn how to create white outlines around your transparent background PNG images. All of the images that you uh, will see in this tutorial are available at my Etsy shop, Omar Toro. So just go there and search for Omar Toro and you'll be able to get these images. Um, these are stickers for your Cricut machines. And if you want to get them, just go there and visit. Now, sometimes when you download a uh, transparent background of PNG images from sites or like this one, for example, they have a, a lot of detail around and your machine won't read those details correctly and won't be able to cut correctly around that image. So what I like to do always is create a wide outline um, for my machine to be able to cut those stickers easily. Um, here is the white outlined image. Let's compare it to the other one, uh, side to side, and there you go. This is what we will be creating today. We will use uh, Photoshop and also a free online software to create our white outlines. One is easier than the other one, but you can pick yours if you have not Photoshop installed on your machine. So let's jump into Photoshop and open our file, our PNG transparent background file. And when you open it, you will see that you have a top layer with your image and a transparent background. Um, what I'd like to make sure always is that your image is not touching the edges. Right click on the layer name and go to blending options. And once they open, click on stroke and determine the size of the stroke that you want. Um, there you go. If you're happy with it, make sure the color is white if you want a white outline or if um, you want a different color outline, just hit it right here. Make sure the um, opacity is set to 100 so it's uh, completely opaque and uh, click on OK. What I don't like about this method is that it creates white outlines with very sharp edges and sometimes if your images have like these little, little hairs that you see here um, it creates sort of a weird edge and if your image is very textured it, it also creates this very jagged outline so i don't like to use that method too much i rather create a new layer underneath that one um, so hold control or command and create a new layer underneath your object layer and fill that layer with white select background color to white and press control backspace or command backspace if you're in a Mac and that will, will create a um, white layer underneath your object layer. Next we need to select our object and to do that hold control or command and click on your objects icon and as you can see Photoshop has created a select
percent also that will give you a very sharp line around if you don't use the contrast and you leave it to zero as you can see the edges are kind of fuzzy and outline and you want to make it uh, larger in some parts or in others um, like here for example that the white outline is very close to that hair what you can do is edit the map online editor just scroll down and select the pixel editor launch web app um, and what you want to do is open an image from your computer in this case we're going to use this image navigate to the folder where your image is stored and select it now remember we need to uh, create a 
background or a canvas size that is large enough to hold our uh, white outlined. So for that, let's go to image, go to canvas size, make sure to anchor your image to the center and change your image to about 200 pixels. Um, to make your image about 200 pixels larger than your original image. Click on OK and now we have a background that is or, or a canvas that is large enough for our uh, white outline to be placed. Now there is no way to um, modify a selection on um, on this editor as easy as it is in Photoshop. So let's play with a layer style. We will hit layer styles. We have um, the outer glow option, so click there and make sure the opacity is set to 100, the hardness is set to 10, and the size is set to whatever um, size outline you want. Just make sure to make that just a little bit larger than what you want it because in the next step it will get a little bit smaller. So click on OK and that will set the um, glow around your image. And because it's a glow, the edges are not that sharp and we want them to be as sharp as we can get them. So for that, we will create a new layer and we will put that layer underneath our top layer. Now select your top layer or your object layer and right click and click on and select merge visible. And as you can see, it created a much smaller white outline around our image that is a little bit sharper than the other one. So repeat that step, um, create a new uh, outer glow, make sure that it is set to one, uh, 100 opacity and a, 10, and a hardness of 10 and make sure the size is whatever size you want it to be. And that is also a little bit larger than what you want it to be. And click on OK. Next, we'll we will create a new layer. Place that layer underneath our object layer. Right click on our top layer and select Merge Visible. And we will do that one more time. Layer Styles, Outer Glow, Opacity 100, Hardness 10, and Size, let's put it, let's just leave it at 4 because I'm happy with the, with the way this looks. So just click on OK, and we are done. Go to File, Save, remember, um,
with a white color. And this will give you a more of an organic uh, white outline. With all the methods shown, you will get the same result and your design space software shouldn't have any problem reading around your image and cutting easily. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Here are two more videos that you could be interested in. Remember and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.